Welcome back to Bitcoin Advisors channel. My name is Chris and what do we have here? Ethereum looking very, very healthy on the 15 minute time frame. Not only that, uh, perhaps breaking out of the daily ascending triangle over the weekend, or should I say on Thursday last week and trying to consolidate, put in a bit of a higher low. And if we do see Ethereum kind of grind around here around 2150, for some time, um, I, I would say the bulls probably continue to uh, take control. Other than that, if you see the RSI get kicked out of the bullish control zone and forms something uh, like this, then uh, you could expect some downside on the daily for Ethereum. But until proven otherwise, you know, don't fight the daily downtrend. I also want to bring up ETH Bitcoin on uh this massive W we kind of called out here and said, look, if we can get back above the box of peace and prosperity and death and despair, well, then uh, probably Bit or Ethereum would get another push. And that's, in fact, what uh, is happening. And if you take a look at the weekly time frame, we just closed, put in what I would call a, uh, a higher low because we did not close below that wick on the weekly time frame. Which, um, you know, could be argued um, either way, in fact, because we had a closing candle body closure lower. So, you know, not uh, totally sold on this one yet, but uh, if Ethereum Bitcoin uh, does bounce and, you know, take out this wick here, very likely continuation to the upside, probably to that green 55. And that would prove that, uh, you know, money is moving towards the layer ones. Speaking of layer one, Solana has had a lot of attention since its uh, major event. And I guess apparently it wasn't a buy the rumor, sell the news event. It was a uh, buy the rumor and buy more after the event. Um, but, you know, that's that's how cryptocurrency land is and it can change very quickly. And it does seem like, you know, people are starting to take some profits from some of their altcoins, perhaps move them back to Bitcoin. And then the question is, where do the honeybees go next as they went from Ethereum to Solana? So what is the next layer one I'd be looking at? Just since I'm bringing it up now, um, it is going to be, I'd say, three areas I'd be looking at. Uh, one is um, curve here. Curve looks like it is amidst, uh, you know, just completing this W after a, you know, so here's how I would draw it out. Um, what looks apparent to the eye here would be something like that, perhaps. And then if you want to look at this on a weekly time frame, um, it did break the weekly downtrend, higher low. A lot of coins are getting up to that green 55, which from where we're at today is roughly 38% higher than we're at today. Curve is one of them. Uh, the in you know the layer one I was going to talk about was Avalanche, uh, which if I can only find it. Another one is Arbitrum. Kind of uh, maybe already got that completion of the W, so probably short-term selling pressure. But a lot of good things about that one. Optimism. Another one just completed the W, so could potentially take a look, leg up to two sixty-nine. That does look like uh, some overall continuation on the weekly time frame for Mr. Optimism. Also, volatility is expanding from the lowest level ever, which is also what we see on Curve. And I guess I'm going to have to pull it up the old-fashioned way, AVAX. And what chart do we want to look at? Uh, why not look at the Binance just for kicks here? And... Also, expansion off the lows and um, already hit the green 55. So has this one played out yet? Well, just as Solana just blew up, right? And a lot of the coins in that ecosystem have blown up. We should also look at uh, some of the coins that might benefit from kind of the honeybees coming over to Avalanche for the short term. And I think one of the tokens is... Bink, is it Binky? Benki. 
there we go. I'm going to pull it up here and just um, just looking at the opportunity up to that green 55. Did it get the first higher low on the weekly time frame? No, but a deviation below the range. So again, I do think this one could benefit from um, the ecosystem and avalanche beginning to erupt. Why is that? Well, Benke, coin market cap, switched over. A, well, I got Bing in the background, apparently. Um, B E N. QI. Liquid staking avalanche. I don't know if that I I'm I'm not even gonna attempt to uh, so what is Banky? It's a decentralized non-custodial liquidity market as well as liquid staking protocol built on the high speed avalanche smart contract network. The lending protocol allows users to lend, borrow, and earn interest using their digital assets. Liquid staking protocol provides a solution for capital efficiency, offering users the opportunity to unlock their staked AVAX to be used on decentralized finance protocols. So that's a bit of a mouthful, but again, if total value locked, meaning all the coins avalanche coins that are locked up over there are gaining interest you know it does add validity to the protocol and um, i know people like to get that passive income going so i i would imagine um at some point this has some favor i want to see if i can uh find an older chart on this b n q i it looks like a relatively new coin not out on the major exchanges yet and if we go back here you can take a look at the market cap of 30 million micro cap so could have some opportunity there uh total traded volume all time at the lows at the lows okay so maybe um you know not financial advice not a financial advisor but uh, just something to keep an eye on there other than that, jumping back into Bitcoin and what I think is going on uh, kind of on the higher term time frame, uh, specifically the four hour time frame. Let's just take a look with some fresh eyes on the chart as Ethereum was looking a little bit more on the bullish side. So momentum is to the downside on the four hour volatility is just beginning to expand. So maybe a quick, quick down to the green 55 for a bounce. You could even fill this guy in one more time at 35,559. I do think the um, you know daily pivot coming in here could easily get recovered. I think uh, let's see. And to be fair, is that going to play out? You know, two drives of bearish divergence. Uh, down to the 21 looks good at 34,975. Um, kind of getting the confirmation of the sell signal here. Volatility is beginning to wane. So if that starts to curve over, I mean, this thing probably has got one more push in it, guys. I, I don't know. Bearish divergence is forming on the daily time frame. What about on the four hour? Just keeps trudging the road of happy destiny. And I would expect a bounce off of this level at 34,599. Um, at least on the first pass, if not a continuation drive, maybe they grab the liquidity and then pop it back up for our kind of uh, ultimate destination on this run. And uh, just seeing how that triangle played out did be fair hit the level pretty good and uh, let's see on the weekly time frame we're still going to have momentum to the upside volatility expanding from the lows and that's what I expect a lot of the altcoins to kind of just do Bitcoin first 
Ethereum, and then all the other altcoins get a bit of love. Again, a lot more risk involved there. But uh, ultimately, strong bounces get you up to the 618. Um, typically, once you recover the 618, next target is going to be that 40,373 level, that 786 FIB. And then if we pull it out from the ultimate high to the ultimate low, you can see we haven't quite even got up to the 0.5, which is that previous level. That, that would have been the 786. And then the full retrace coming in at 46 to 48,000. Um, that... You know, do we pull back first or not is the question. So what economic news is coming up this week? We've got uh, consumer inflation expectations today. But the big one is tomorrow, Tuesday, we've got inflation, core inflation. So is inflation going up or down from here? My guess is inflation is going up. As I've been saying, even when it was going down, supposedly, um, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense there. And then lastly, a bit of a news, uh, again, kind of supporting the Ethereum breakout narrative. BlackRock's Ethereum ETF plan is confirmed in NASDAQ filing. So why is BlackRock going for an Ethereum ETF? Hmm, I wonder why. Um, what else uh, did I see news about? Grayscale's discount continues to narrow as the spot Bitcoin ETF euphoria works through the market. So again, um, th that is a narrative we've been following and we you know, suspect that the ETF does get approved at some point. Um, there is, and I think that's that's about it. Lastly, I think I'll take a look at the liquidation levels for Bitcoin on a monthly time frame. Lower liquidity hanging around thirty four thousand uh, to all the way down to thirty two nine. I do imagine that um, this area becomes even more bright yellow as people whoop, as people add positions, and that's if Bitcoin's price continues to move higher. Um, Let's see here. You're stalling out on me, sir. And that first layer at 34,000. So um, really quick, want to check in on Ethereum as I'm making my way through the charts here. And downside at 1830, um, still that 1830 number has been coming up for a long time. We finally pulled away from it, sitting at about 2100 right now. And wouldn't be surprised for 2155 to get tagged again. Um, you remember, they typically send it the opposite direction first. So up, grabs the liquidity, then they send it down. Um, <clears throat> just something to keep your eyes peeled for if you're looking for a good entry on Ethereum. Um, also, you know, would I consider this full on breakout time without a retest first or a confirmation at least? Um, it looks like full out breakout time to me, but uh, it's okay for it to come back down. Um, Rune looking healthy there as well on the weekly time frame. Looks a lot more like Bitcoin and Ethereum. Um, still not even up to the 618 on the weekly. So what is Rune doing that everybody loves so much? Same thing for Ave. Still kind of bullish posturing on the weekly. And what other uh, one I'm keeping an eye on this RDNT, which is kind of a receiver of the optimism latest marketing push where they gave out a bunch of optimism tokens to um, various projects. Another one being GMX, which I think, um, you know, if you haven't heard of these coins, do some research, think about them. Another decentralized exchange, a lot of big, you know, participants in this project. And uh, I'm going to leave you guys with that for today. I'll be back with another one tomorrow. Hope you guys all have a blessed and highly favored day. Take care.